Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is a uh, June 2014, and variant is a 43, and question number seven. So, what a question is? First of all, because you know mechanics is a hard only due to um, uh, these word problems, so we have to read read carefully. One look, this smooth inclined plane. Smooth is meaning very clear. It means friction is equals to zero. So first part is clear, friction zero. And, and make sure when friction is zero, no need to make a R component. Don't waste time in R component. Where's R component? R component acting upward, all people know it. And this is a MG cause, you know it. So we'll not waste my time in drawing this one, make sure. So when no friction, so don't waste time in finding R component. Okay, length of uh, 160 centimeter is a, sorry, this is a 160 centimeter inclined plane. And this is a 40. So short story, we have a we have a, a triangle. We have it. Okay, uh, I can make it here. This triangle on the top. Okay, this is a 40, and this is 160. In this way, I can find this alpha easily. Okay, this is theta. Sorry. Okay, and uh, if mostly we know, you know, cause component is not participating, sine is participating. How come? Let's see. The what is the mass of the particle? Uh, one minute, mass of the particle. There are two particles are there now. Particle P is 0.76. So 0.76 is P particle. And what is the weight? You know, 0.76 into 10. So it become one decimal jump. Jump, so 7.6. So this is what? 7.6. This is 7.6 Newtons. So naturally, what is this? So this is, I can say, 7.6 sine and this are uh, let's say theta so sine theta so this is why this component is important here and before i start tension uh, what is the mass of q mass of q is 4.9 into 10 so it means it one point decimal jumps so it becomes 4.9 so this is uh, acting downward is 4.9 newtons and one more thing very important Whenever uh, two particles are like one part, it is a particle, one person pulling here and one person pulling here. So tension in both particles, because string is same, okay? If the string is same, if the string is same and someone pulling here and someone pulling here with some forces, so make sure tension towards each other and they always equal to each other. So in this sense, if this string, string, if this string uh, passes a pulley and goes like this and this, so tension the string will be remain same. How make it? Tension will be upwards and this tension will be this way. So make sure again, and the tension always towards pulley. This is a rule we have in all uh, kind of questions. And because they uh, move acting towards each other, that is why. So this point is very clear. So let's try to move further. Okay. And this I'm, I'm reading and I'm just drawing uh, the values. I'm writing the values here. Uh, this is sentence clear. Okay, let's talk about the next sentence. Uh, the particle P is held at, held at rest. It means P will start from, from rest. So starting speed is 10 from zero because starts from rest. Okay. And um, he mentioned Q hangs vertically below the pulley and 30 meters centimeter height. So this height is given by him is 30. P released. Whenever we say P released, it means starting velocity is zero, and then it will move with some velocity. And uh, it starts move up the plane uh, and uh, does not reach pulley. It means P will go up. So I, you can write it here. The motion is not about to move, sorry, motion. Okay, and naturally Q will move here downwards. So these motions are very, very clear. Okay. Now I'm going to start a, a formula. So first of all, let's apply, apply formula A here. So, you know, what is the formula? Uh, I can apply in Q particle because about to move downwards, okay? So basic formula net force equals to MA. Because system is moving downwards, so naturally 4.5 is bigger, tension is smaller. So I can say 4.9 minus tension equals to MA mass is 0.49. First equation done. Now talk about Q. Q particles, again, same formula. 
net force is equals to MA. And my target is to get acceleration, first of all. Okay, and because system is going upward, so naturally, how many part, how many force acting on the P? Okay, uh, one acting upward with a T and one acting downward with a weight component. So I can say here that T minus 7.6 sine theta equals to MA and mass is what? 0.76 A unknown. All right. So I, I can't solve it. The problem is theta is unknown. So I think you can find it. And what we can say here, very clear, uh, opposite by hypotenuse is sine theta. So sine theta is 40 over 160. Zero, zero, cancel, four, one, four, six, 104. So sine theta is becoming 104. So this value is very clear. I'm writing it here. Okay, so I'm replacing sine theta by one by four. So T minus, if I replace one by four here, so 7.6 divided by four, it is giving me 1.9. The question two ready. Now I'm going to solve this and this simultaneously. So I'm writing the above equation number one down. So let's see. So what is the equation? This one, you know it very well. So copy and pasting here. Okay. Now students are very clear. You can we can solve easily. Okay. And how we can solve students? This tension and tension positive and negative tension, they will cancel out like this. And out of 4.9, subtract 1.9, I get what? Three newtons. And if you add these two, so 0.76 plus 0.49, it is giving me 1.25. When it goes down, so three divided by this, I, I'm getting the sharp answer, 2.4 meter per second square. And which is my target, number one. Okay, this is a clear students. We and he was asking us to find out the acceleration. So Alhamdulillah, this is a concept is clear. Second part, he's asking tension string before Q reaches the ground. So how do you find nothing hard? This 2.4, you plug in either one or either two. So I'm going to plug in, in two. So plug in, in two. You put in two. So 2.4 is going, sorry, is going in the place of acceleration. So T minus 1.9 equal to 0 0.76 times to 2.4. And I'm going to find tension. So 2.4 times 2.76 and plus 1.9. And it is giving me a simple 3.724. So this is a, and uh, this is because it's coming exact. So I'm not doing any change here. This is exact. I'm not getting a decimal, even, a, even not a recurring decimal. So this is done. So let's go for the next part. Part one complete, four marks achieved. Speed with the Q reach the ground. Easy, nothing hard because Q is starting from rest, U0. And it is moving with the, this acceleration 2.4. Okay, let's write data for Q particle. So I'm writing part two for Q particle. Starting speed is zero. And acceleration, I just got 2.4. And distance travel is, I think so, mentioned here on the top. See, it will travel 30 meters because 30 meters uh, height from the ground, uh, from the, uh, the particle, so 30 meters. And what is ultimate target? We have to find the final velocity. Uh, have a look, please. So it reach the, just reach the ground. So we can say that formula is very clear. 2AS is equals to V squared minus U squared. So S is 30, V is question mark, U0, and take the root. So root of a 2 times to 2.4 into 30. And answer is coming finally 1.2 meter per second. This is done. Part number third and last part. And third, last part. Uh, the total distance traveled by P before it comes to us. Here we have something important. Okay. He's saying total distance. Uh, why is it total distance? It means there's not one distance. There are uh, maybe two distances, okay? Uh, by the B, by the B particle, okay, before uh, before it comes to rest. Now, very interesting, you know, students, their inertia concept will play a vital role here. Inertia concept. How inertia concept will play a vital role here? So, for example, first of all, 
you can see here uh, the p will move upwards okay and how much is move upwards so i just give you idea because q fall confirm 30 meters centimeters if q will fall 30 centimeters common sense we will also go go up 30 centimeters okay and then this particle will stop here but this particle p will not stop here it will go slightly up due to inertia so this is a concept actually uh, in the, this question here i repeat again this q will move 30 meters this p will move 30 meters because they are connected with the same string so how much it will fall down same it will go it will go up after having this one equal then q will stop here and not rebound but p will move slightly up okay and then stop it means this is a stop so this this motion is called inertia motion inertia okay so let's see now how we can make a diagram and this diagram is very very important so i'm going to make a separate diagram for it okay so what is the situation we have this particle is here and let's say this particle is here okay uh, it will move uh, it will move how much downwards student it will move 30 centimeters okay and it will move how much it will move also 30 centimeters okay uh, but it will move then afterwards move slightly up this is called movement due to inertia okay and here it will stop all right very interesting part and distance total distance is asking so this is 30 for sure and this distance is my question mark if i get this distance question it will be finished okay will be finished automatically okay but this is very important part i want to tell you uh, here please come back this is the most important part uh, when let's start in the beginning what speed at p here q here zero what speed at p here zero okay so let's start what speed here let's say one what speed here one okay what speed here uh, for example 1.1 what is here 1.1 here 1.1 so it means both particles are moving same speed but just before the uh, hitting the ground speed of the particle is the q is a 1.2 it means this particle will uh, will hit the ground before hitting the ground speed is 1.2 so my question, what is speed at this moment? So same, because P is coming downward, Q is going upward with the same speeds. It's a very, very clear. So speed just before hitting the ground and speed of this P are same. Okay, so it means 1.2. So I'm writing it now here. What is this speed, student? 1.2 just before hitting. And my question, uh, what is speed at this moment? 1.2 okay final speed of this is this uh, this motion final speed is 1.2 and which is a starting speed of this is 1.2 i repeat this is 1.2 and for the for this motion this is starting speed is 1.2 that's why sir reason when particle is, will stop will not sorry reach here when particle reach here its speed is 1.2 for the other next motion this starting this ending speed of the first motion will become starting speed of a second motion. I'm counting this as a second motion. I'm counting this as a first motion. So now my title is total inertia, due to inertia, the motion due to inertia, okay? So starting speed is naturally 1.2. I talk about a P particle, so U is 1.2. And naturally stopping on the top, so last velocity confirms zero. Now, what is my target, student? Ultimately, my target is this distance of S. If I get this S, my question inshallah will be finished. But problem, I'm stuck here. I don't have acceleration. So job number one, this is the most and hardest part because many students don't understand how we find acceleration. And I'm going to discuss this point, very important here, important. There's a P particle, you know it very well. This is a P particle. Okay, and my question, what is this acting before tension? And what is this weight component? And what is this weight component? You, if you see, go back. This is a 7.6 sine 30, a sine theta, or uh, this 7.6 sine theta, this one. After playing sine theta, this become 1.9. So this is a 1.9. I mean to say this is 1.9. So this is 1.9, <clears throat> Okay, so system is going upward, as you know. We talk about, okay, due to moment of inertia. Okay, so what is the net force formula? Net force equals to ma 
So uh, tension minus 1.9 equals to ma. And what is the particle uh, mass of the particle is one? So 0 0.76, 0 0.76, 0 0.76 into a. But you know, students, very interesting part, when this particle will reach the ground, when it reach the ground, so string become loose, like a broken, string become a loose, by like a broken, and tension will finish automatically. It means this, uh, while both are moving, tension are, tensions are there. But as this particle Q will hit the ground, so no more tension is there. Reason, because Q will hit the ground and the tension string will finish automatically, this tension also finish. So I can say that in moment of inertia motion here, tension is equals to zero. So I'm writing here, this tension equals to zero. Put T equal to zero. So when put T is zero, I believe you're understanding what is going on now. And Alhamdulillah, we can find acceleration from here easily. And what that, this value is coming, 1.9, uh, 1.9 divided by 0.76. And we got a 2.5. So acceleration is coming negative 2.5. Now my data is enough and I can use formula and get the S. So formula is 2AS is equal to V squared minus U squared. And A is negative 2.5, S is a target. The last velocity is zero, U is 1.2 square. And I'm finding now a negative 1.2 uh, square and divided by two, divided by 2.5. I'm getting here uh, very clear 0 0.288 meters, okay? It means the moment inertia distance is very clear, 2.88, 0 0.288, sorry. So now I'm going to find total distance Total this is this 30 and this point to it. So it means total distance, total distance 30 plus 0 point, uh, uh, 30 or 0 0.3, let me check. This is a centimeters, okay, centimeters. So it means 30 centimeters, okay. And here I use what? Meter per second. Make sure students, please, there's a meter per second, okay? It's not centimeter per second. So it means, uh, I have to convert this 30 divided by 100. Why, sir? I will tell you what is the logic behind these are centimeters, these are meters, okay? Because speed is, uh, if I'm using speed meter per second, so naturally this must be meters, okay? So that is why. And answer is coming finally 0.5 double eight because 0.3 and 0.228 to it. So this is a final answer, meters. So this is sometimes to do mistake in conversion because they don't focus. This is a meter, so meter answer. But whereas a 30 is a centimeter, I hope so, the concept is very clear.